What's up everybody, I'm Tyler Holt, muscle farm athlete, and today I'm gonna take you through my core workout. We've got two different circuits of this. One is rep-based, one is time-based, and we're just gonna trash your core from the top to the bottom. So first circuit, we got three exercises, 10 reps of everything, and then we're gonna rest one minute. Do this circuit three times before you move on to the second one. So second circuit, we're doing three exercises again. You're gonna go each of these for 30 seconds a piece, back to back, and then you get to rest one minute. And you're gonna do three rounds of this circuit as well. So if you're ready, let's go get it done. All right, so first exercise of this first circuit is the hanging toe to bar. So my focus on this one is on the way up, I'm really focused on tucking my hips forward and crunching the abs to get my feet all the way up. If you need to tap your feet back on the ground just to get yourself stable and ready, go ahead and do that. And if you can't get your feet all the way to the bar, not a problem at all, bend your legs and just drive your knees up as high as you can. All right, this next exercise is a weighted cable crunch with a weighted knee to chest. On this one, you're gonna use an incline bench. We're gonna do a cable crunch like you normally would. Rope on the side of your head. You're gonna have a dumbbell in between your feet. You're gonna crunch the rope forward, and at the same time, you're gonna try to bring your knees up to your chest. So we're using weight by your head, and we're using weight on your feet so that we can get the entire core work from top to bottom. And then from there, we're going right to a cable torso twist. So cable should be right in front of you, about shoulder height. 10 to one side, and then 10 to the other side, no rest in between. So with the cable in front of you, we don't have to lock out the arms. We wanna have a slight bend in the elbow, keep tension off that joint. And we're gonna twist to one side. You're gonna rotate your hips, your hands and the cable stay in the middle of your chest. So after you've completed all three of these exercises, you get to rest one minute, and then we're going through this circuit two more times. All right, time for circuit number two. This is all timed, all in one space. No weights, just body weights. We're gonna go V-ups, then we're gonna go right into hip dips, and then the third one is a plank. We're going 30 seconds of each of these. So starting with the V-ups, you can use a mat below you if you want, not necessary, but you're gonna go hands overhead, feet straight, and you're going to crunch up, and we're gonna try to meet your hands to your feet in the middle of that range of motion. So on the crunch up on those, shoulder blades come off the ground, feet come off the ground, and we wanna meet in the middle to where we're pretty much on our tailbone at the end of that exercise. After those 30 seconds, we're going on to exercise two, which is hip dips. We're gonna be in a plank position, and you're going to basically rotate your body so that one side of your hip comes close to the ground, and then you're gonna rotate back to where your other hip comes close to the ground. Rotate your feet with this guy so that your body is actually moving, but you want to keep your elbows still on the pad. Don't let those lift off. Third and final exercise, after we're done with the hip dips, go right into just a stationary plank. On this one, we want to focus on keeping the core tight. So try to suck your belly button into your spine on this. Keep the core tight. Don't let your hips sag. Don't let your lower back take over this movement. Get everything you can. I want you to squeeze your core as tight as you can from your rectus abdominis to your obliques. I want the whole thing squeezing and working. All right, so after 30 seconds of that, you get to rest one minute and then you got to complete two more rounds of that. So after both those circuits, our core should be fried. We should be feeling it everywhere. We've hit everything, weighted, body weight, obliques, abs, 
we've hit it all. So at the end of this, we should be done. So this is a great workout to throw into your routine one to two times a week. It's a pretty intensive core exercise. It's not like we're just ending the workout with some crunches. This is pretty focused on the core. It's gonna hit everything. So one to two times a week should be good enough. If you have any questions for me about this workout, you can find me on Instagram at tholt21, or you can find me on Facebook at Tyler Holt. The full breakdown for this workout is below here on bodybuilding.com. And for more free articles and videos from athletes like me, come back here to bodybuilding.com. Over 45 fitness plans, daily workouts, results for life, only $8.99 a month.